there's pretense and then I, it's my experience that relationships fare well when we're willing to exceed ourselves. That's for sure. Lots of people talk about keeping it real, right? I have to admit that I find being 100% myself all the time isn't always that easy. What do you guys think? Well, this is what I think. The only person that I need to be 100% real with 100% of the time is myself. Mm -hmm. um, and what that means for me is that um, I'm free to know and accept whatever I'm thinking and feeling at any particular moment. So if I wake up in the morning and for whatever reason I'm irritable, the way I decide whether I'm going to be 100% honest about that is, um, you know, what's helpful? What's helpful to me in the moment and what's helpful to the people that I'm with in the moment? Um, if it's not interfering with how I'm focused and attending to the people that I'm with, then I don't know that it's something that I need to be sharing. If it's interfering with how I'm relating, if my kid needs to know, listen, honey, I'm going to be, I'm feeling irritable, I've got some things on my mind, this isn't about you, then I'm going to share it. That's my thought about being 100% real 100% of the time. I, I want to have that intimacy with myself. And then I want to know what's going to be helpful here for me and for the people that I'm with. Perfect. Because you know what is the most helpful thing in my experience is in when my partner is 100% honest with herself and what she's feeling. And as strange as it sounds, the greatest gift I've ever learned in relationship is that the most amazing intimacy, love connection, sexuality has always come by my feeling, hearing, understanding what you, my partner, are feeling and honoring that. I call it less wins or less is more, because, but it goes both directions. If either of us in that moment isn't wanting that kiss or that sexuality or whatever, then we're not going to have either of us the mutual connection we're really wanting. And yet it even gets better by honoring that and just staying back and giving you the space, the time to feel whatever you're feeling. What I get in return is five to ten times more love, trust, openness, sensuality, and it might only take a minute and you attack me, or it might take a day. But it's better than anything I could have had by not feeling that and thinking that, oh, you're compromising by giving me something that you don't really want to give. That costs me. Yeah, because, I mean, basically, when you know that whatever the person is saying and doing, they believe, then you can count on the fact that you know who you're talking to. That's exactly yeah. right. Also, I think in dating, when you're 100% authentic and you go out into the dating world and you're showing who you really are, that you're going to have a better dating experience. When they meet someone and they're not themselves and they're trying to be whoever that person is looking for mm. and they're not showing their authentic self, then the relationship is not starting out honest. And if, they're go if they show who they are, no matter what that person's looking for. And that person say, is saying, I'm looking for a girl who's real sportsy. All right. And so they're like, yeah, I love sports. Okay. And that's not who they are. Okay. And so they start that relationship out on the wrong foot. Now, if that person says, you know what, they're hundred percent authentic. And they say, you know, that's just really not me, but you know what? I can appreciate you love sports and I'm there to support you and your enjoyment of sports. Now they're being honest. You got to show them who you really are because if you start that out pretty soon, you can't keep that pretense up. Yeah. You know, you can act out of character, right. and we can all do it, but it's tiring. Yes, and eventually, is. it falls apart. It does. And that, that person is going to say, what happened to that girl I fell in love with? Yes. Where'd she yeah. go? That's and true. it's going to fall apart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you show 100% authentic person, and then your relationship's going to start out. Well, there's pretense, and then I, it's my experience that relationships fare well when we're willing 
to exceed ourselves. That's for sure. But you have to we tell do. them that I'm doing this we for do. you. That's not what I like to do. But you're being honest. Mm -hmm. You're saying, you know what? I don't like to fish, way. but I'm going to do it for you. Awesome. Yeah, sure. My partner is a professional dancer. She was, and I played tennis endlessly. Well, she plays tennis with me sometimes, but can't match me. I dance with her sometimes, but can't match her. And so it's a gift not only to sometimes enjoy them together, but let her go dance and let me go play tennis. Yes. You know, and we come back and then go, it. I'm here now and I love yeah. you. I've always said that, you know, you should marry somebody who opens more doors than shuts them. So you heard it here first. If you're looking for advice on how to be you 100% of the time, you have to know yourself. Don't compromise your standards or your belief systems for another person. Be honest with yourself. Take a moment for yourself and do it. We believe that you can.